Hey everybody, I hope that you're doing well and uh, maintaining in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic, in the midst of uh, what's going on currently in the states with um, racial injustices and prejudices. I just hope that you're remaining safe. I hope that you are um, remaining healthy and optimistic and um, I had another video planned. I really, really had another video planned to post. But with everything that's going on, I just thought I would wait and post this one first. So I want to know your feedback. I want to know how you're doing. And uh, let's get into it. I am currently in Germany with my husband and so I'm not really experiencing all of the uh, protests and things that is currently going on in the United States even though um, here in Germany there are a couple of different groups and crowds kind of getting together uh, to do something this weekend um, it took me a long time I felt like it was a long time I guess a week to really process um, what's been going on and what does that mean to me as a Christian a black woman? What, is, what does it mean to me? What does it mean to my family? And I went through so many emotions, you guys, um, and I realized that these emotions just didn't happen uh, because of George Floyd, but these emotions kind of have been settling um, from Trayvon Martin to all the others that have lost their lives um, due to racial injustices. So every time this happens, I felt like I remember I go through kind of the same process of this is horrible. You know, what can we do? What can we do? And so because I am a Christian, I immediately um, wasn't led to go out and fuss at the next cop or fuss at the next uh, white person I see or another person that I didn't agree with. I really took time, you guys, to pray and meditate and think about what was going on and what I could do with where I am. And um, it's just, it's really sad. It's sad. It's horrible. Um, but, you know, it's not something new this has been going on for years and though I've never had um, no one in my immediate family to uh, be killed or die um, from these racial injustices racial profiling and um, Everything that's going on now is, is nothing new. I can remember so vividly being in college and having to stand up against um, police officers and teachers and deans of students that were racial profiling based off of their color, based off of where they've come from, um, even sometimes based off of their um, sex. Um, if it was a male walking around with a do-rag on, you know, that we were seeing that the policeman would pull them over uh, before they pull over uh, maybe a Caucasian female walking around late at night. So we wrote letters to our dean, went to the provost, and uh, thankfully um, they heard us and uh, changes were made and we were able to see some results. But what's going on? in our world is 
so much bigger um, than what was happening on a smaller scale when I was in college. So my main thing is, you guys, I just want to encourage you to process your emotions, process them in a healthy way and whatever that looks like to you. Some people pray, some people um, talk to their family members, some people go to a counselor. I mean, even now, like, I'm having some hard, tough conversations with my mother, with my father, with my brother, my sister, with my husband that I never thought we would have to have again. And um, just thinking about when the Lord blesses me with children, having those conversations so that my children are safe in this world. And y'all, it's so much anger, it's so much hurt, it's so much pain. And I just see it breeding, breeding across the land. Someone get mad, then someone else get mad, and they come together and do violent things. And I know the news doesn't report everything. I see different um, posts on Instagram about the peaceful protest, and I see the post on Instagram about the um, whites in D.C. and other states that are burning down um, black-owned businesses. So the reality is, is that this is our reality, and this anger and this hurt is breeding, and I don't like it. Um, just as much as I know that anger is breeding. I know that through prayer and through love and through hope and action, um, that could breed as well. So my heart really, y'all, it goes out to the men and women that have lost their lives. My heart goes out to the families that are affected by these deaths. And my heart even goes out to uh, the police officers and those that are in the midst of the crowd getting hurt or getting put into jail and um, I hope that you're joining in prayer with me for these families during this difficult time and a lot of times we don't want to say anything we don't want to do anything because we don't either sometimes don't know what to say or how, or we don't know how people are going to react. And I think that's why it probably took me so long to really just process everything. And without a shadow of a doubt in my mind, I know that Jesus, Jesus truly is the answer for the world. And um, the change starts with us. The change starts with you and me. The change starts with us realizing that there is a major issue and we have to be smart we have to be smart about how we fight we have to be smart about what stance we take because we don't want to lose our lives in a fight and out on the streets losing our homes we don't we don't want to lose our legacy in anger and in hatred so if you're like me and you, uh, with everything that's going on, you're not quite sure how to respond. Your emotions may be all over the place and you're not really sure what to say. Or um, you might even be ignoring the things that's going on. But I encourage you. I wrote down a couple of things I want to share with you. Um, number one, pray. If you can't do anything else as Christians, we can come together and pray. Because people are dying. People are hurt. I saw a, uh, a clip on the news my husband showed me. And I think it was George Floyd's uh, brother. And he was pleading with the people. You know, if I'm not out here um, looting and fighting for my brother who is dead, then why are you out here doing it? So, um first thing I would say is to pray the second thing is self-evaluate what prejudices do you have against blacks against Hispanics against whites against Americans against Africans against men against women do a self-evaluation number three 
have a serious conversation with your children, your siblings, your godchildren, youth, teens, and any young adults about the current events that's going on, you guys. We cannot close our eyes to these situations. We have to to pray and have these hard conversations with our neighbors and and give them different ways that they can respond that could save lives instead of take lives. Um, number three, you can sign a petition. I'll put um, the link that I saw on Facebook about a petition and justice being served. Um, because you guys realize this, what's going on is um, so much bigger than what we can see is definitely spiritual, it's definitely spiritual warfare, but also this is um, this is what um, unfortunately a lot of our nations are built upon. So systems have to change, but before systems change, people have to change. Um, number four. You can also visit different sites to become educated and decide to take a stand when it comes to your congressmen and legislators, your governors, your city council persons. And then number five, know that the news doesn't report everything. All black people are not looting and crazy. I'll say it again. All black people are not looting and crazy and violent, just like all cops are not racist, and just like all white people are not racist. Um, something else you could do is to carve out some time and listen to the experiences that some um, black people are having. I just finished talking to um, my brother-in-law and he told me about a couple of times when he was pulled over for no reason. I had no idea he experienced that. <laughs> but just like any other person, he could be dead right now if, if he didn't respond well, if the Lord's hand was not with him and upon him. Um... There's also a lot of great books you can read about different injustices, but I can't stress enough, you guys, that the change really starts with you. It starts with us having those conversations, leaning into prayer, leaning into God's love, and like spreading it, spreading hope, spreading joy. So I didn't anticipate this to be a um, video that I would post um as an update but here it is this is our world and um one thing i know i can take confidence in is that god knows exactly where we are he knows exactly what's going on and so we pray and we trust him that he will continue to keep us that we continue to keep the nations and that we ourselves will remain safe and saved in his capable hands and his will for our life Take care. Until next time.